You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. On Wednesday, November 2nd, the Prestonsburg Police Department launched a Roundup initiative to combat the drug epidemic that is plaguing Floyd County. Yeah, it's been it's been a while since Prestonburg has had a Roundup. Um, we finally got the manpower and the resources and, and uh, everything else going on as far as, you know, COVID hit. Um, really didn't have a lot of manpower as far as doing stuff. So now we're, we're full staff and we got 20 some officers now. So, um, and we're focusing more on the drug issue that with the more manpower that we have. Our warrants range from robbery first to trafficking meth to possession of meth, heroin, fentanyl, uh, various warrants. We've got probably uh, about 20 warrants to serve um, a bunch in the city and then a couple are outside the city limits, but the charges originated uh, here in Prestonsburg. Uh, and it's just, you know, an, an effort fighting the the drug problem that we have. Um, so we've, we've gathered a lot of information on where a lot of these people live because they bounce around from place to place. Um, so we've got about 10 officers out uh, today uh, during this roundup. So far we've got, we've rested five or six this morning. With two teams, the Prestonsburg Police Department swept through not just the town, but also the surrounding communities making arrests. You know, our ultimate goal is to go home at the end of the day. Um, we don't want anything, anything to go south. And we're having more officers go on these warrants service with us just to, I guess more eyes is better. Um, just being as cautious as we can be the operation looks to have been a success with multiple arrests made. Started out with about 20 warrants, and I think we've arrested 16 of the 20. Um, it's all been a great day and, and no injuries, and and uh, the ones that we went out after we've arrested and put in jail, and the other four, we will be looking for them in the near future. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Jameson Killen.